society. Society is not sinjer riba, problem sing is safe case winner. Links in bigger the river, city, lag nation, honorable governor of Manipur, Housing, Thorum Mapamsi, Yopirakle. We welcome all of you to this grand function of honoring the pioneers, which is a very special part of. I go to Kamzeriwa, honoring the pioneers. Manipur Firmi, Lamianba, Lamianbi. Mayam, Harau Tiamna, Ikai Kumazi Wutuba, Thorumaski Dumak, Lapi Dukai Punumaku, Kokum the Purumzeri, Lunina, Masiki Thorum Sitaram, Oksebu Lunina, Thorumsi, Ahan Bada, Sirvi, La Ganeshan. Honorable Governor of Manipur, Nashik Thorongi Chief Case Win. Maharaja Sana Jauba Leshemba, Honorable Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha, Animbuku, Noluk Nakosanjari. First of all, excuse me, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, presenting you a glimpse of Manipuri cinema. <laughs> In 1991, Ishano, a Manipuri feature film directed by legendary filmmaker Aribam Siam Sharma, was screened in the Uncertain Regards section of the Khan Film Festival. It is one of the highest honors ever shown to a Manipuri film. Considering that the first feature film, Matangi Manipur, was released in 1972, has travelled a long journey of half a century. However, way back in 1936, Maharaj Kumar Piyabharta sowed the seeds of filmmaking in Manipur when he started shooting short documentaries with his 8mm Bell and Howell movie camera. <laughs> Aduga Pun Manungi or Aduga Imasi, Aquila Yamna Nushina, so Jedi Masi, you know, the name of Yamna and Timasam in a Matuda, Quiggy, Quesit Sapa, and the game, Savona to Wanga Sapa, Zangal Lamu Sapa. In 1946, an unsuccessful attempt was made by the Sri Sri Govindaji Film Company to make a Manipuri film, Mainu Pencha. Nine reels of the film were screened at Impal Topis. The tempo died down to a low ebb for many years before a fresh enthusiasm was born. The passion and commitment of Karan Manmohan in producing films bore fruit with the making of a documentary by Park Sun of Manipur and then a feature film, Matangi Manipur, directed by Dev Kumar Bose from Kolkata. 
The first public screening of Matamgi Manipur was held on 9th April 1972, setting the official birth of Manipur cinema. The day is now celebrated as Mangi Numi. <laughs> Rosendra Gilhumba, completed in the same year as Matangi Manipur. A dedicated cine enthusiast, Chan later directed another feature film. K. Ibohal Sharma was a true lover of cinema and played a pivotal role in pushing forward the film movement in Manipur. He devised indigenous ways of making films and even developed his own processing lab. He shot, developed, edited and directed numerous documentaries and shorts in the 1960s. A few films were even made in color. Ibohal Sharma later teamed up with Aridam Siam Sharma and produced and shot the iconic Manipuri film, Imagi Ningthen. Arigun Siam Sharma is the pioneer who has established Manipuri cinema at the national and global platforms. Made in 1981, Imagi Nintem, My Son, My Precious, won the Grand Prix at Nantes. C'est bien la supériorité d'ensemble de toute une production qui hier soir a été saluée à travers le lauréat Arivam Sharma. Arivam Sharma est professeur de philosophie, chanteur, compositeur, et l'un des rares réalisateurs de l'état du Manipur. Both Imagining Ten and Isha Nau were screened at major international film festivals, apart from winning multiple national awards. Today, Manipuri cinema misses the scripting talent of the renowned literary personality Maharaj Kumari Binodini Devi. Her work with Aribam Siam Sharma bestowed some of the greatest films in the repository of Manipuri cinema. Walang Thagi Wong Madasu, Imagi Ningpen, Ishano, Sanabi, and Sangai, The Dancing Deer. Inay Singh, the first Manipuri filmmaker coming out of Film and Television Institute of India, Pune, is another leading figure of the celluloid era. His film, Sanakai Thil, made in 1983, stood out at the 31st National Film Festival. He is also credited for making the first Manipuri feature film in color, Langlin Tadoi, in 1984. Pioneering filmmakers of the celluloid era contributed immensely in shaping the future of Manipuri cinema with their ingenuity in storytelling and projections of the Manipuri society through films. Today, we revere the dedication of G. Narayan Sharma, Laimium Bangka Sharma, Murang Kim Nilamani, and Laimium Surjakanta Sharma, among others. in Manipur following a ban on screening of Hindi films in the cinema halls of the state by a proscribed group in 2000. Most of the theatres were forced to shut down and many people in the industry lost their jobs. Consequently, this led to the popularity of low-budget filmmaking in video format. 
it was the time when digital technology was coming up in a big way. The so-called digital film movement in Manipur started in 2002 with the film Langmai, directed by Okanamakcham and O Gautam. It was theatrically released and became commercially successful. Suddenly, there was a boom of digital films. At one point of time, Manipur was producing nearly 300 feature films in digital format. Nami Sami, directed by Mintoja Lancha, charmed the critics and audience alike to the possibilities of digital format as a sustainable medium for a small state like Manipur. See who is here? Kizigi Mani, directed by O Gautam, heralded a new chapter in Manipur cinema, winning two national awards including Best Supporting Actress for Tontoy. A major movement of documentary filmmaking came up parallel to the narrative cinema. AFSPA 1958, directed by Hobum Pavan Kumar and produced by Sanzu Bachaspatini, became the first Manipuri film to win the Swarna Kamal at the 56th National Film Awards. It was soon followed by a bunch of talented filmmakers who reflected on the socio-political situation of the state. Ronel Hawang, Alexander Leopau, Oinam Doren, Romi Mitei, Subash E, Mina Longjam, Borun Tokchong, Sonia Nifram, Maibam Amarjit, and others. Writings on cinema from the state have also received national recognition. R.K. Bidur, Mika Chandra Kumbam, and Bobby Wahengong have been awarded the Swarna Kamal for their literature on cinema. Among the young and upcoming filmmakers, Haubam Pavan Kumar is shouldering a huge responsibility representing Manipur in many prestigious film events across the globe. In 2016, his debut feature, Luktak Lairimbi, set a benchmark when it was screened at the 67th Berlin International Film Festival. There is no dearth of talented and passionate filmmakers in Manipur but only a few films make a mark in the national and global circuit. This is largely due to a lack of exposure among the filmmakers to the new age technologies as well as marketing and fundraising strategies that can take the films beyond the borders of Manipur. <laughs> Looking at the future and to take Manipur cinema to the next level, uh, the society has recently come up with a scheme and has placed a proposal to the government that will nurture and mentor and skill our storytellers so that we can tell our stories in a global platform. Cinema 
is regarded as one of the most important of all the art forms that expresses human culture, having the ability to progress our thoughts, knowledge, and the world views. The journey of Manipuri cinema is turning 50 years, and uh, this milestone is being celebrated with a vision for this dot. I congratulate the film community of the state and wish the celebration a grand success. Sri Lakanesh Matanda Tarum Sigi Tarum Mapuina Maharaja Sanaza of Lishimba, Honorable Member of Parliament, Raja Shabia. We are greatly, we are greatly honored to have with us Honorable Governor of Manipur. Today inspires the entire gathering. And on behalf of the organizers, we extend our most cordial Zebogalina, Ikai, Nazaba, Uchabakitan, Logjagi. Nasigi stays the length of Piran Bogitama, Aduga, to do. We are honoring our respected Chief Guest, Sri Lakhanishan Ji, Honorable Governor of Manipur, with a traditional stone and a bouquet of fresh lily. As we come here, President Purna, drinks the beer packet from the river. Maharaja Sanada, Guru Simba, Honorable Member of Parliament, Raja Sabha. So it is very befitting functions to honor the film pioneers of our state Manipur. So I extend my heartfelt congratulations and the best wishes to MSFDS. I also partake myself in the celebration of Golden Jubilee, celebration of Manipur cinema. <coughs> my knowledge of films are very limited and more so for the Manipuri cinema. I almost ignorant about the pioneers in this film, but I do certainly know about A. Sham Sharma, 
a filmmaker par excellence who showcases Manipur cinema not only to national level but also to the international audience. We all remember 1981 film Ima Ginintem, written and a screenplay by M.K. Maharaj Kumari Binodini Devi and immortalized, uh, immortalized by <coughs> Sham Sharma, who is won Golden Mongol Fairy at Nantes Film Festival in 1982. The story is so lovely and uh, incented a whole lot of people everywhere. I hope young filmmakers following his footsteps will be emerging very soon. Cinema is a product of a combined and a cohesive effort. It involves so many talents, dialogue writers, screenplay, direction, music, actors, cameramen, editing, and producer, etc. So and Manipuri films involving chasing film distributors in Guwahati. The cinema continued to serve Manipuri, this circles clinging to the house of a new dawn for cinema halls. Manipuri cinema ki konsepta thanabu yadana hingliba maruna exhibitor singhi achomba role amu lady hai riba Manipuri cinema na respect from one and all. 35 mm ki celebrate projector ma operator wa operational ko hilma the music of films like Yaripok Thambalnu, Wangma Wangma, Sanakate, to mention a few. During the course of his service as a cinema operator, he mastered the operating system of celluloid film projectors and became the master film projector mechanic. Manipur film ki tongan tongan ba Manipur ke art hai. I am delighted to be with you in this evening for the felicitation program of the pioneers of Manipuri cinema as a part of the year-long Golden Jubilee celebration of Manipuri cinema. I congratulate you all on the achievement of the remarkable maestro by the Manipuri cinema. It is heartening to know that the Manipuri State Film Development Society has been the voice of Manipuri cinema since its inception. It is indeed a matter of great satisfaction to know about the invaluable contributions made by the pioneers of Manipuri cinema who had made tireless efforts to uplift Manipuri films to a greater heights during the last five decades. As you all are aware, that cinema had taken a big role in shaping the society and giving a face to the state in the field. I appreciate Manipur State Film Development Society for shouldering this invaluable responsibility to felicitate the pioneers of Manipur cinema. Well done. My blessings are always with the artists and filmmakers. Most fascinatingly, I was quite impressed to witness the glimpse of Manipuri cinema screen just now. Really very good. And I also could gain some knowledge about Manipuri cinema. Here, youngsters are here, the younger generation. It is not simply a film that is shown to you what has happened for the past 50 years. You can observe the camera was shown. Nowadays you are all having a cell phone and cell phone there is a camera. Camera is very easy to handle now. 
I remember very much in my place, my own uncle, he was a photographer, artist. Not only that, he was doing business that he had a photo studio in his house. Whenever somebody calls him for some program, just to take photograph, we call a bullock cart. In those days, only bullock cart was available. Or cart drawn by uh, horses. So he will carry a very big uh, box, put it in the cart and take it. Just to take photograph of in the marriage or some occasion. You will all be surprised to hear. But I myself have seen that. That much big. Here also they were carrying cameras. It is not the only camera that is to, to take film on cinemas. Even normally camera is so big. Now it has been very much improved. Science is improved. That we have everybody as having a, in our cell phone the camera. So all those things that the younger generation should see. So this film and it was a black and white in those days. And how was the roads, how was the dress, even how was the language also. All that can be seen here. Of course it is only glimpse here but they have rightly they have put it the topic. So, just a glimpse that I've been shown. So, in the 50 years, uh, we have achieved a lot now. <clears throat> I am very happy. The cinema that was uh, shown now here, a glimpse of Manipuri cinema. Really, it is very good. A few days back, I saw in one of the local dailies, the Manipuri filmmakers, Nine Hills, One Valley, I have been selected for the competition in the prestigious Kolkata Film Festival which will be held in the first week of January 2022. I wish Sri Baban Kumar, the producer of this film, all success in his endeavor. Making of cinema today is based on transmitting good amount of message for society. I said to highlight the ills and ingrain the socio-economic and cultural problems concentrated in our society. Cinema helps society in general and individual, in particular in bringing happiness, peace and tranquility, prosperity, harmony, and creating god ambience and live amicably. Celebration of Golden Jubilee of an institution or organization it's a proud moment for the institution as well as for the people of the state. Contributions made by the pioneers of Manipur cinema to promote the state's culture and art are indeed commendable and prize for the Bay one and all. I am very happy here the stalwarts of the cine film. They have been selected and they have come one by one and they have been honored. Please remember, there was a day, or even today they may be in the field very active. At that time, it is a fact that they will get some uh, amount also for their reaction. But that will not satisfy them. You have to understand their heart, understand feeling. In the cinema hall, when the cinema appears, the audience, when they clap, when they are coming there in the scene, that is really, they feel very happy. Yeah. And later, nowadays for some people, they may not have get a chance because of their age or so many reasons. But now, identifying them, calling them to this meeting, asking them to come to the lives, and they are honored now means, Really, I can, I can understand how much happiness that they would have get. That is the real happiness, the real happiness for them. And uh, I don't know, of course, this may be the culture of Manipur. When the, such an artist have come and uh, they are presented, immediately there will be claps everywhere in the hall. But here I could not see that. It may be because of this, maybe this uh, culture of this land, I hope so. The claps, that will boost them, and they will be very happy. 
With that, I congratulate one and all, all the people, those who have come and those who have been uh, honored here. With these few words, I once again express my happiness to felicitate all the pioneers of Manipur Sima. Why I have been called here? Because I am a governor of Manipur. Otherwise, what is the connection between me and the cinema? I will tell you, I remember well, when I was studying in uh, 10th standard, in high school, I had a problem in the eye. I told to my father and mother, and uh, they asked me to go to the eye doctor. I went to the doctor. The doctor asked me, what is your problem? In the classroom, I am sitting in the last but one, penultimate row. But I could not see the blackboard correctly. Okay, okay, okay. And when I go to cinema, I normally I prefer to sit in the first class. Sometimes in balcony or in the first class, it will be last row. I could not see him see the cinema correctly. And sometimes laughed at me. I wanted to know your problem. Your first sentence told me that what is your problem. Your several second sentence uh, that uh, informed me what the reason of the problem was. That is why. That means in those days I was that much regular often seeing the cinemas in those days. Most probably that may be the reason. But one more thing I will tell you. I am full time in the public life for the past 52 years. In the 52 years I have rarely seen hardly 10 cinemas only. This is a disqualification. The first one is qualification. Anyhow, I even in the film, I saw that film, I remember my olden days. That is why I felt happy. Thank you.